and this video is all about those colors. The third part of my South Korean travel series starts about an hour outside of Gongju in the southeast of the country. And I've come out here today to visit a very famous ancient temple called Bulguksa. Now I'm pretty certain that this place is beautiful all year round, but right now in fall season it is especially worth visiting. If Google is correct, then they might actually try and make us leave around 5, 5.30, which is a little bit sad because that means that we might miss sunset. But because the sun sets really early at this time of the year anyway, and because we're in the hills, we might actually get lucky and catch a bit of that golden light on the temple. Now you've probably heard me say golden light in this travel series way too many times but it is the best time of the day to visit any of the main attractions here in Korea. Because I don't know if you knew but South Korea is also called the country of the morning calm and that means that before 10 a.m. the streets are absolutely dead, no shops are open and all of the main attractions are also closed. So the best time to go out and explore here in South Korea in fall season is around the golden hour light which is super convenient because it's also the best light of the day. Fast forward a couple of days and I've traveled about two hours north and I'm currently staying in a very beautifully decorated hostel. But this evening I've made my way down to the riverside to photograph and film an old bridge that you can see in the background. Now I'm not going to try and pronounce the name of that bridge for you, that would just be embarrassing, but feel free to give it a go at home. This bridge is especially beautiful and worth visiting in fall season because the forest around it is just about to peak in colors. So there's orange and red and yellow all around the bridge and the whole riverside is absolutely beautiful. So for the next two hours I'm going to walk around a little bit and try and find the best angle on this bridge. and I've never seen that before. They've included some proper walking techniques on how to walk this bridge. So for example, your feet should be on a 40 degree angle if you lift them up from the bridge and then you should focus on a point about 10 to 15 meters ahead of you. So that's the right way to do it and we're gonna do that right now. So I want you to focus on the infinity about 10 to 15 meters ahead of you, okay? Hello. She's from Hamburg, Germany, and she's been traveling South Korea for about two and a half weeks. Yep. And then I have to go back to Germany. I don't want to. <laughs> she likes Korea. She loves Korea. Yeah. 
kids, I just got attacked by a really fun group of Korean school kids that had German in school and obviously English, but they were really quite shy, they didn't want to talk to me. So I went to take a photo with them and I think I made some of them really happy and they made me happy. And that overall has been the theme here in Korea. It's been such an incredible trip, absolutely mind-blowing. The food has been amazing and the people are just super, super friendly. Yeah, I can't really put in words and I hope that maybe my series has been able to bring that across. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about South Korea, about coming here by yourself, maybe as a solo female traveler, then definitely let me know in the comments below. But otherwise too, as a couple or in a group, it's an amazing trip, definitely worth visiting. And yeah, thank you so much for watching so far. I appreciate your support and I hope to see you again in one of the next videos.